A new park is coming to Madison this year, and those behind the project say this park serves more than one purpose. And tonight was a groundbreaking ceremony for Allied Park. It's close to Allied Drive on Revival Ridge. The new park has a focus on youth engagement. It'll have a full-size basketball court, a picnic shelter, a Wi-Fi hotspot, playground, youth hoops, and four square courts. New at 6, Nick Buffo is live there to tell us more about why this park will be so important to the community. Nick? Greg and Amber, an hour ago, community members and city leaders here at the Allied Drive neighborhood finished breaking ground of the new Allied Park. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin, Alder Maurice Cheeks, and several members of the neighborhood came to listening sessions last year and helped shape, shape the design with a focus on youth engagement. In fact, the idea came in 2013 from a group of young people in the neighborhood known as the Brotherhood. They say they just wanted to do more things here in the neighborhood, like uh, having a place to play basketball. But now, almost four years ago and many meetings later, we now have an acre sized park they believe will strengthen this community. We're already a close knit community, but having this park, having a shelter here where we can barbecue, having the open space, um, having the Wi Fi here, having the basketball court, it's just going to bring everybody out. It'll get people out their comfort zone and bring them to something that's positive in the neighborhood. The park is also just across the street from the Boys and Girls Club, which CEO Michael Johnson says he's excited to see come to fruition. Young people need a place to be able to go and to recreate. And so uh, I appreciate that the young people from this community helped design the plan. Once the park is completed, the neighborhood plans to hold many events such as movies at the park, basketball tournaments, and even a festival, all in an effort to help bring the community together. Live in Madison, Nick Buffo, 27 News. All right, Nick, and the City Parks Department hopes to have the new Allied Park open sometime this fall.